Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. If you haven't checked out any of the previous videos, please do. In the last video, we recruited our friend Boysenberry. We set up our comms relay, but no one really wanted to talk to us. We reached out to a bunch of folks, uh, but uh, no one responded. We asked if uh, people wanted to come live with us, and they, they rudely said no. You know, I know we got a pretty great space station, so you'd think they'd want to move in with us. We also researched advanced electronics and we just finished researching the uh, advanced laboratory or the laboratory. So we unlocked education one and efficiency one. So let's go ahead and start researching the fuel process here so we can unlock that and start working our t way towards shuttle manufacturing because that is kind of our next major hurdle in this campaign. So let's build the laboratory and we need four more advanced electronics. Let's make sure we have that ready to go. So they're supposed to make five of those and we only got one. We need two electronics and diamonds. We got that, we got that. So it's just a matter of them making these advanced electronics for us. Let's just go ahead and increase the cap here to 10. And we'll click on minimum again, perfect. And they should go ahead and start crafting those advanced electronics for us. If we got a trade ship, and we do have a trade ship, so let's see if they have any. They have seven. We're gonna go ahead and buy the advanced electronics off of the Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company, and let's go ahead and sell them a little bit of biomass. And then they got carbon. We're gonna buy some carbon off them because we are out of carbon. Not about out of carbon, but out of carbon. And then let's also go ahead and purchase We'll purchase some diamonds off them as well. Great, so let's now go build the laboratory now that we got everything we need and we're gonna put that right here down in this room that we uh, made last time. So Hacksaw will come and build that for us and I'm assuming we'll have to hook electricity up to it here in a few seconds, but let's see what it uh, says. All right, it's not flashing anything so it must not must not need anything. All right, so hopefully Halibut's going to start using that. There we go, and I think that's a little more efficient for the research. So we already got four out of 100 towards fuel processing. The other thing I wanted to start doing is I wanted to expand our dining room slash be able to have some more hydroponics. So what I think we're going to do is we're just going to build station all over here. So let's go ahead and select our hall. There it is, graded hall. And we're gonna go ahead and designate that whole area to be built. Now we didn't have enough aluminum for that, that's okay. They'll start to build that. We can come back and fill that out as we go. Do we have any aluminum ore? We don't even have any aluminum ore, so we'll have to make sure we get more of that as well. We're about mined out of this asteroid. The next one will be this, so we'll go ahead and target that so they can start getting the aluminum and iron ore out of that asteroid. Let's go ahead and ask, since our uh, rank or reputation has moved up, let's see if anyone from Pickle and Pickaxe wants to move in. Nope, still no one wants to move in with us. That's, uh, that's not very nice of them. We could send them a tribute, but I don't want to lose all of our money just yet. So we'll hang on to that. give you a quick tour of the station if this is the first time you're joining on the the first floor first level we've got our oxygen makers our water milters for the for the ice and some storage over here and then this is our passive rock crusher on the floor up is more of the research facility the waste processor where we turn the poo into biomass which we can either sell or then use to make our hydroponics or plants. We also have our refiner and smelter down here as well, and then some batteries for our nice solar panel over there. On the main floor, the third floor, we've got our kitchen, our dining room, two of the bathrooms, or the two bathrooms, and then some hydroponics. And like I said, we're gonna expand this so we have a larger dining room and we'll put some hydroponics along the wall as well. We also have our trade dock, as you can see here, we can buy and sell. So let's see, let's go ahead and buy all the carbon they've got. Make sure we've got some carbon and then let's also go ahead, ooh, they got a lot of aluminum ore. Let's go ahead and buy, we'll buy like 50 aluminum ore. So we're gonna have to click all the way up to 50. 
Where'd it go? Here it is. And that is a nice stack of 50 aluminum ore for us. Let's see. We can sell them. We got a lot of fish. Let's sell them some fish. And we'll sell down to about 20 fish left for us. There we go. Anything else? We can... Let's buy the fine meals off them. And I think that will be it. Thank you, Pickaxe. Or excuse me, Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company. Your trade is always appreciated. So we got that expansion going on over there. And then on the fourth floor is the uh, living quarters. We've got quite a few bedrooms. We've got, what, 6, 10, 12, 14 bedrooms set up. I think one of them or two of them. Yeah, two of them are still open. So we got room for more people if they want to move in. And I went ahead and put some plants in there to make the bedroom have a little higher quality. And then we got our medical cabinet up there as well. We still have not seen anything from that ominous warning about the space pirates coming our way, but I would imagine they will uh, be showing up sooner rather than later, so we got to keep an eye on that. Our hero, Toothbud, has still been our valiant miner going out and getting our resources. I did demote Loophole from Officer down to Janitor. He wasn't doing anything as an officer, and the station was getting really dirty, so he uh, put down the sidearm and picked up a mop. So he's been out there cleaning the station alongside Spare Rib and Marmalade and making sure everything remains nice and clean for us. So we've got that going for us, and that's really good. So we'll let this run for a little bit, and we'll... Uh, Check back in. Hello everyone, while I was off screen, I went ahead and built two fuel tanks and the fuel processor here. As you can see, our friend Hacksaw did a fantastic job on constructing those items. So we got that set up and we uh, started researching shuttle manufacturing a little bit of the way into it. I also built a, another uh, docking bay right here that we'll eventually use to construct either the Finch or Pelican ship you know the finch is a small scout ship only holds two people has a little bit of cargo uh so as you can see we got just about everything we need for it but we'll start saving up for it we also built the area up here i built that out and finished that put in a nice potted plant we also built another airlock on the other side of the station so uh as Toothbud goes out to do his mining he can just pop right out this door and the asteroid we're currently mining is right there Additionally, we researched Education 1 and Efficiency 1, which gave all of our meeples a nice little bonus. You know how these were all zeros before, now they're all ones, so everyone can do a little bit of everything. And then the Efficiency bonus makes everyone just a little bit quicker at their job. So that, uh, some good improvements for the, the station overall. The, as uh, we finish and wait for shuttle manufacturing to research, we will uh, hop back in once that is done. All right, everyone. So while you were away, I went ahead and did a couple of new things for the station. We built a fuel processor and some storage tanks for that, and we built a new docking bay. And as you can see, Hexall is building our very first ship. Now, it's just a Finch scout ship. So it can only hold two people and it doesn't go very far, but it's still our first ship and that is very exciting and it is almost done and I'm, let's see what it looks like. Very nice. All right, there is Chug. The Eagle has landed. I am just seeing the images you sent down now. The Finch, it is a beauty and such a ship should only be piloted by the best. We're going to send up our pilot to get your flight crew started. Marimba serves as Tooth and Scrub's chief flight instructor, so they should be able to help you expand your flight crew as necessary in the future. We are excited to start flight operations. Yes, indeed. We are too. On that note, once Marimba is settled aboard, you'll want to hop onto your ship's crew manifest and assign them as pilot. Once you're ready to send the Finch out, select it from your ship panel, activate travel and target your desired destination from the map screen and assign it to scout that target. Easy peasy. Now that you're going to be overseeing not only the operation of Tooth One Station, but also various flight operations and away missions out in the Varco system, it's probably a good moment to talk about choosing an executive officer. An XO handles 
the day-to-day -day dealings with the crew and the delegates your orders directly to the relevant crew meep. Sounds like an important role. Yeah, it does. It is indeed. Your XO keeps everything running smoothly, so it's important to choose a good one. You must always make sure the XO row is filled by one of your crew. No matter what happens, your crew cannot function without one. An unhappy executive officer can wreak all manners of havoc if you aren't careful. Duly noted. You've been working with your crew now for long enough that you might already have someone in mind that would be appropriate for the role. There is someone we can send over that will fill the role nicely if you don't want to choose one of your crew. But we're going to leave this up to you. Let's go ahead and um, send over someone since we got the extra bedrooms, right? All right, very good. We think you'll be pleased with our candidate. Now that your core crew positions have been filled, it is time to get out there and explore. We're excited to see what you come up with. That makes two of us. All right, so this is an exciting time. So we should have two new meeples joining us. And we got our Finch scout ship. So let's uh, let's take a peek at everything. So it's docked and then cargo holds about 200, uh, 250 fuel and two crew. So let's um, let's go up to the bedrooms here and assign beds to Marimba and to Feather. All right, so they both got bedrooms. So now we need to assign an officer, which I thought, yeah, Feather was assigned as an officer. He's got 13 for officer. So let's just unpause that. Uh, now that your population has grown, you'll need to assign one of your meeples to the executive officer role. You can only have one at a time. It can be assigned just like any other role. All right, so we assigned that. So now we are going to get ready to scout out a nearby area of interest with our brand new ship. So in this episode so far, we have built our new science lab. We built the fuel processor and its tanks, got our ship built, expanded the main floor a little bit, and uh, had two new meeples join us. So I think this is a, a pretty good place to end the episode. Don't forget to like the video, comment, like I always say, whether it be on the video itself, the audio quality, the picture quality, anything like that. Or, you know, just if you want me to play a different game than Meeple Station, certainly let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs gaming channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time in the next Meeple Station episode.